Hello, I'm Beryl Nassasan and this is Pink Diamond, the show that digs deep into the pink sheet markets to find diamonds in the rough. Now, with the corona crisis continuing to escalate, it's only natural that investor focus falls on companies fast-tracking potential cures and vaccines. Today's Pink Diamond does exactly that. Cytodyne Inc. is a late-stage biotechnology company primarily focused on the development and commercialization of humanized monoclonal antibodies to treat HIV. Cytodyne Inc., formerly known as Rexray Corporation, was incorporated in 2002 and is based in Vancouver, Washington. It has a market cap of $1.4 billion and a beta of minus 0.91. While Cytodyne's traditional focus has been on HIV treatment, the sudden spread of COVID-19 means the firm has initiated research into a treatment named Laronlimab. The firm said on March 31st that the FDA is allowing a mid-stage trial for its experimental COVID-19 drug to move forward. The investigational therapy has not been approved for any indications. For COVID-19, it's being proposed as a treatment for mild to moderate respiratory complications that occur in patients with the disease. The randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study will test the efficacy and safety of laronlimab in 75 patients. Previously, Cytodyne had been studying this experimental therapy as a treatment for people with HIV and metastatic breast cancer. Last week, Cytodyne released a press release stating that the first two COVID-19 patients have been treated with laronlimab under the company's Phase II randomized clinical trial, which is for patients with mild to moderate indications. The company anticipates that enrollment of more patients will accelerate this week at multiple clinical sites. In addition, Laronlimab has now administered 15 severely ill COVID-19 patients at four hospitals, all as an emergency investigational new drug, a status granted by the US FDA for each individual patient. Cytodyne also anticipates initiating its other COVID-19 trial soon, a phase 2B-3 for 342 severely ill COVID-19 patients. The trial is double-blinded with a 2 to 1 drug to placebo ratio. Looking at the firm's financials, Cytodyne has operated as a pre-revenue research and development firm, not registering any revenue for several years. The vast majority of its expenditure is R&D related, totaling $42 million in 2019. The charts show an exciting story with a stock price that has range traded for several years until mid-December 2019 when news about COVID-19 started to spread. Since then, the stock price has climbed rapidly from 50 cents per share to a high of three and a half dollars per share. As always, make sure to do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. See you next time.